I want to see more than that. I'm sick of people staring at us, man. Don't you look at me, motherfucker, unless you want to fight. I want to see all you motherfuckers lose your mind. Pepper start the song again. I'm watching you. I'm watching you like a vulture. Be a fucking punk rocker, you fucking ass sissy. <laughs> Heavy. I told you. <laughs> dude, you look fucking bad. Yeah, fucking he does. No, he's gonna look bad, dude. Oh, yeah. Seattle. This is Fuck. the Seattle look. What about the tattoo in your stomach? And scarred. What does that mean to you? That means all the uh, <laughs> silly finger pointing, all the snickering that I hear behind my back. Oh, that bald headed guy with those tattoos. Oh, well, God, he's ugly. <laughs> and all that crap. That just fuels and fuels and fuels and fuels and it makes me strangle back. I make more money than them, <laughs> you know? I punch harder, I, you know, I love more, you know? I have more and I feel that and, you know, I'm into that. I could have a 103 fever sitting there going, <gasps> oh God, and boom, eight o'clock every fucking night. Come on, motherfucker, let's get one in you. And I'd be like, oh God, no, no, no. And he go, then let's have a double. And I was like, Daryl, whiskey is not going to help me right now. But you know, it did. Bless his family and all, all of his close friends. And I never got a chance to say goodbye in the right way, and it kills me. And I'm so sorry. I wish to God I could have gone to his funeral, but I have to respect his family's wishes. And they do not want me there. I believe I belong there. But I understand completely. I'm so sorry to his band members. I'm so sorry to the whole fucking world that loved I Meg Daryl. Like I, I, I think that this was partly your idea to have the vulgar video contest. I don't even, I don't even know. I, I don't know anything about that except all I, all I know is that our concerts are good. I stole your love. I stole your love. <laughs> Picked up the needle. Okay, now that is a hardcore story. Me being the medical genius I am back then, especially I gave him what I called like a, pardon the expression, but a pussy shot. A little bit. Just a little touch. And I injected him. My friend who I've known since I was 16 years old, is overdosing. I freaked out. And I reared back, and I went boom right in his chest. Boom, his eyes popped open. I laid him out on my sofa. We stayed up till the sun came up. I stayed up with him. Wouldn't let him go to sleep. And this whole time, I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I just killed my best friend and brought him back to life. I uh, overdosed and killed myself for about four minutes. And um, I think it shook everybody else up. I was in bliss, actually. I was gone. There's no way that could ever happen again, you know. So through uh, more positive thought and through true inner strength, you know, everybody makes mistakes, but I truly learn from my mistakes, and I have that ability to turn that light switch off. And I'm going to keep that particular light switch off in my life forever.